Oh, hey guys. Welcome back. I just got home from China. So we're gonna celebrate by making an Indo-Chinese dish. Gobi Manchurian. Let's start by prepping our vegetables. And we will never serve a dish before it's time. Let's start with our ginger. You want power in your pecker? Eat a little bit of this. I learned that in China. Man, that smells strong. Very strong. So for this dish, we're gonna have a little bit of ginger in bigger chunks, and then some small, more shaved ginger. One thing I learned from one of the best chefs in India, it's not about measuring. Every dish, it's gonna be a little different. Some of this, some of that. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada ba. Interesting texture. It's so weird and like hairy. You could shave this other ginger. I'm gonna mince it. It'll do the trick. The smaller chunks will be for our batter. If you have a headache, ginger's great. Ginger's great. You can use a serrano pepper, jalapeno pepper. There's so many peppers around the world, and a lot of them are amazing. So pick your favorite. I don't want to fiddle around with this too much in case I want to diddle my butthole later. We challenge you to make this dish as spicy as you can handle. This is for later. Question for the audience. What is your favorite spicy dish? Comment below. I'm getting some juice on your lens. Oh. I'm sure it's not the first time that's happened. <laughs> We like to get juicy on this show. Mm -hmm. Why bigger chunks? So they don't burn. In our kitchen, it's flavor heavy. And if it isn't in yours, you're doing something wrong. We're all about flavor on the show, but we're also all about health. Trying to be the healthiest versions of ourselves. Hey, go do something healthy. Life's too short to not support your favorite artists. Be proud of the movies you watch. Be proud of the music you listen to. Be proud of... Lots of color, lots of fragrance. Getting a little bit of a fruity, sweet smell, a little bit of sharpness. Earth is beautiful. Prep, get it out of the way. Prep, get it out of the way. Ooh. Where's the lamb sauce? So lovely. Benecu, University of Regina. It's like volleyball, but you use cauliflower. <laughs> We need it to have some some body to it, like little dumplings or little golf balls. Through. Through. It's what you want, because you don't want it to get obliterated in the fryer. You gotta be careful. You kind of want them to look like little pieces of chicken, essentially. If you were any dish, what would it be? What dish are you? Gobi Manchurian, baby. Why not take something healthy and fry the shit out of it? Let's see if we can make the healthiest food unhealthy. Exactly. Let me get cleaned up. Ta -da! Folks, put on your seatbelts, because it's time to get hot and wet. Ta -da! Let's get our sauce mixed up. Let's put things away as we go. You heard it here. Who don't love ketchup, baby? If you're one of those people who don't like ketchup, comment below, I wanna see who you are. So I can find you. Make sure you don't have babies. Sambal Ole. From China. I hate to break it to you folks, but the American dream, it's made in China. Woo! If any of the audience members have seen Swiss Army Man, can you please comment below and tell me what the hell that opening scene was about? I think it's great. I just don't know what it's about. Red hot, lovely. A little bit of sweet chili. A little bit of sesame oil. Very potent though, don't go overboard. Too much sesame seed oil can kill a man. Exactly. I couldn't have said it better myself. Honey, gotta have it. There's a reason for it. I need you guys to do this. It's juicy. Brown sugar. Let's make sure we don't omit our sweetness here. Coconut oil. It's not going in this dish. Olive oil. We're old school, so we're gonna do the fork. Mm. Okay. 
feel it out. Smell it, taste it. Wow. Wow. I like caramba. I like that. We want it lip puckering spicy. Salt. Red Indian chili. I'm just kidding, it's paprika, but you should use red Indian chili. Garlic and a little bit of onion powder. Black pepper. Let's taste. It's pretty much right where it needs to be. That's so sweet, yet it's like smacking me in the face. Like, boom. Yes. Just like Will Smith. <laughs> that was the greatest night in the history of television. Uh, I don't think so. This butter dancing is the most beautiful thing I've ever shot. Boom, boom. That means just do it. That's interacting well with that sesame oil. Food virgin? That's no problem. You came to the right place. Because we're going to get your palate where it needs to be. Let's let that dance for a little bit and see what we get. That ginger's really popping out at me. Manifest greatness. Manifest fantastic flavors. Salt. Spare the stick, spoil the child. It's like a paintbrush. This is my work of art. My canvas will be your palette. Rock on, bro! Letting those juices come out and come together. you feel like you're impulsively attracted to just looking at a video all the time, that's a problem. That's when I believe it crosses the line. If it's coming in the way of you doing your work and all this, it's just, it's so, obviously it's wrong. You cannot be an extra virgin. You can only be a virgin. You can only turn the hands back of time so far, and then you're a baby virgin. A little bit of color, but it is time to go in with our... Jeff said he wanted to do an Indian dish. Well, how about Indo-Chinese? It's not full Indian, but at least it's part way there. A little bit more honey. Slurry, water, cornstarch. Wow, holy f I feel like I just put my face in front of a dragon's dick. You did. You see how much more lovely and thick that got? Love ya. Cauliflower. It's just a way to get olive oil into your mouth. Just make things a little bit more wet here. With our Gobi Manchurian, you're gonna find yourself in a whole new world. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Sauce is cooling down to room temperature. Batter. We want it to be goopy consistency. We did some flour, some cornstarch, to give it that crisp and that pop. Onion powder, okay. Indian chili powder or paprika for that orangey color. Garlic powder. I bet we've used garlic in almost every single episode. Almost. White pepper. Be careful with white pepper, that is zangy. Salt, of course. Lots of salt in there. Here's our ginger, garlic, the mince. Don't need an olive. We'll add water gradually, okay? Don't add it all at once, you'll get way too many clumps, brother. Or sister. I know there's plenty of females watching the show too. That's great. That's cool. I want you girls to cook exceptional food for your man. Or your girlfriend. You might be a lesbian. I wouldn't know. Do you want me to show you the world? Shorty? Let's make dumplings. See that? Way too creepy. We're not making a dough here. Sauce, batter, deep brine, flavor, it's the whole nine yards. Checking out my ass. So our oil is getting to screaming temperatures so we can fry our lovely appetizer for you guys. You're gonna try it with us. You're gonna love it or you're gonna love it. So we got a little bit of flour and cornstarch just to get some powder on those balls.
stay on top of your dishes and stay on top of your chores, baby. When you see a little bit of smoke, that means the oil's too hot. Very careful. Do not do this with your hand, I'm a trained professional. Look at how beautiful that is. Who says you can't deep fry at home, baby? Beautiful and crispy on the outside. Only cooking vegan dishes. I'm just kidding. If this spills, that's disaster. International flavors. And I know that's a big part of why you guys tune into the show. We've been to Mexico. We've been to Italy. Now, we're in Indochina. China. Let's get a shot of the Bennett shake. Oh. Oh. Wait, let's see that again. Do not attempt anything you see on this show. I am a trained professional and so is the man behind the camera. And he's hung like a moose. If you don't like grease, this is not the recipe for you. I don't like stuff in the deep fryer. I know I eat a lot of sugar, but I just don't like that. But you can actually batter these and cover them with panko breadcrumbs and bake them. Ooh. Good news, yeah. Quick twist, quick pop, and we're good to go. Make it work, baby. Let's see that Bennett shuffle. <sighs> Hear that crunch? Lower. And that's literally it. Keep my wife's name out your f***ing mouth. That's not even hard. Oh yeah. That was the most entertaining night in the history of television. <laughs>